What does yield do in Python? I remember the first time I saw that statement just sitting in the middle of the function, I was like, yield, yield to who? Yield for what? What is this doing? Well, the simplistic answer, and you'll see this in a lot of uh, uh, text and books, is it turns a function into a generator. But, oh, Will, that is so helpful. Now, what the heck is a generator? Well, a generator is a special kind of function that can get called multiple times, and it will remember where it was the last time you called it. Now, why would you need this? Why would you want to build a, a generator versus a function or just a regular old list? Well, the normal way of creating lists in Python is that all the items in the list are generated up front. Now, this is okay if you have a you know, list of 100, 200, 500, but what if you had a list of a million or a hundred million? And creating all those up front would fill up your computer's memory and cause the program to crash. Also, you know, just imagine, let's say it's really expensive to build each item in the, in the list. What if it was a, a car, for instance? And you wouldn't want to sit there and wait and pay for 100,000 cars to get built before you could use the first one. So if you put it in the form of a generator, it'll generate a car. You can put it in the database. You could send someone an invoice, do whatever you need to do with the car before you ask it to build the next car. So that's the motivation. So let's take some look at some code here. So I built a very simple function called a Fibonacci generator. Now the Fibonacci series starts with 0 and 1, and then every uh, number after that is the previous two numbers added together. So I start off with 0 and 1, and then I hit yield for the first two because they're the oddballs out how you get started. Now the minute you hit yield, it returns a generator, a function, if you will, that's no longer the normal Fibonacci function, which would, you know, if you didn't have yield, just call all the way through, and when you hit a return, you'd be done. Instead, this is going to return something that can be called more than once. Now, the next time you call Fibonacci, or the generator return from Fibonacci, it will yield one, and then I go into a forever loop, while true. I set uh, the next number to the previous two and then swap it out so it'll do it right the next time and then I yield next and it will keep doing that until either you you know hit control C to stop it or you need to put a breakpoint in your code so down here I go uh, 4i in Fibonacci now notice I actually call the function here that's because if you don't it doesn't return a generator so by calling the function, you hit the yield, you get the generator, and then the list iteration knows to keep uh, calling it every time. And then I print out the Fibonacci number, and I say, hey, if it's greater than a million, break. Let's get out of here so this thing will stop. So let me run it, and here you go. It starts with 0, 1, 1, which is 0 plus 1, and all the way down to the first number that is greater than a million, which is uh, 1,346,269. And so that's, in a nutshell, what it is. So when you see yield, think special function, generator function. This thing can get called more than once, and it will remember where it left off, and every time you call, it will keep running till it gets to the next yield. Hope that uh, gets you guys going on this. I'm going to be making a series of these videos. See you in the next one.